the Golden Corral Buffet Steakhouse. Waiting at the Grill House Station for his steak. They got steaks to order. You can make them any way you want. Medium? so much stuff in here and it's a loaded super loaded Saturday night they even have this delicious uh, dessert station yeah I can't even speak I eat so much and of course fondue station right Dip ice cream, all kinds of stuff. So it's a super loaded Saturday evening. I'm trying to be a little discreet, show you guys some of the food they got in here. Fried chicken, hush puppies, fried okra. So much stuff. This is like the southern station. So they got this dessert station that they call the Brass Bell Bakery. This Lighthouse Bay, which is a food uh, fish station. They have this comfort food corner, which is mostly on the southern choice. Uh, steaks to order on this side. Smoked meats on this side. Peeling each trip on this side. Lots of salads, lots of stuff, lots of people, a whole bunch of people. And they're still eating. She ate the most out of everybody. Since you had seven plates, can you show us? Oh and my God. Don't you dare. Joey, please. Let's edit it all out. Do not edit it. Do not, do not edit that out. Do not edit that out. So I'm stuffed. I'm super stuffed. She's not. She's not. The girls are eating Golden Corral. Yeah. I only have one plate too. So now I'm inside of the Vancouver Mall. It's a Sunday morning. Some of the shops are not open yet. So the mall is not really even full. So. Let's look upstairs. Wetzels, pretzels. Oh, look at this pet center. Pharaoh's Cuisine. I'm gonna try that the last time we came here. But the line was way too long. Which is a good sign, obviously, right? Taco time. Japan Express Subway. Foolicious. Actually got a banh mi sandwich from Foolicious last time, which was very, very delicious. So this is a two-tiered mall located right in Vancouver right outside Portland right outside of the state line JC Penney's just basic stores staple American stores that you will see so far and you get a little area of some children playing this thing they have this that they have which is actually you can pay a certain price to rent out a part of the movie theater it's like a booth and you can bring in outside food and drinks 
and pay for the movie. You can even bring in alcohol. All kinds of different stores. Let's go check it out. Mm, the children's place. It's a Sunday morning. So nobody's really here today. Airport in Seattle. Been at the airport since about four o'clock this morning. This is a very nice airport, making my way back across the Pacific Ocean. Just got through super ridiculously long line at TSA. Got me some lotto tickets. Let's go check out this airport. Really nice shops in here so far. So it's barely even eight o'clock. We have about a two hour wait. We were going out into the town of Seattle, but didn't want to chance it just in case any, um, you know, mishaps or anything like that within the two hours. We don't know how long the security line is going to be. So let's check out more of these shops. Everyone, everyone who flies does not like TSA. In my opinion, the SeaTac Airport is very efficient. As far as the TSA, yes, the line was long, but it was flowing. And the TSA agents are very courteous. And so was the uh, desk agents for Alaska Airlines. Very courteous. I don't know who would be buying a coach bag from the airport. It's a number nine. Yeah. We make our way to the gate Seattle Airport. Waiting for my flight. Got me some lotto tickets. Hopefully I win, I don't have to go back home. Let's go see if we win anything.
Oh, let's see.